Okay, here we are in our second part of our circuit breaker silver recovery. I had already extracted the six pieces of contacts here. Let's take an hour skill. Let's say 21.86 grams. Remove this one. And here also. 180 grams in total of 200 grams and also I had a plating here heavy cover, very heavy cover this one also and these contacts need to hit to remove uh, graces and oils Okay, that's enough. Red hat. Now our material has loaded to our beacon. And also our silver contact here. We separate that because if this one is a gold a silver plated only, then this is much higher. Con as silver content so we covered with distilled water here and also this one and then we had a nitric acid here the we use nitric acid to extract silver the fastest way and the easy way to extract silver so here we go I need to add started at 50 ml. Let's do it. And also this one. Then put a cover. We don't apply heat first so that our nitric acid will not decompose early. You can see here the contacts that I bend it sorry act immediately and this one is uh, very slow because of lots of water so let's wait the reaction is complete then applying small amount of heat as you can see here the reaction has too strong baby boy he separately process this silver plated copper after extraction of our silver contacts this is our work here the large larger beaker has a color blue and this one may be sky blue I had some precipitation here and I think some part of this uh, there is a shiny one and never in touch with our nitric acid so we'll continue working here by heating we are adding to our fire here to continue the reaction Continue reaction or dissolving silver here in our small beaker and the large one isn't start first After 30 minutes of heating uh, there's no reaction so we are allowing this one to cool down then go ahead to our filter We had prepare a large filter paper here here, here is a head, lots of residue, and dissolve uh, or precipitation, maybe. Okay, filtering our solution here. There's a lot of silver cementing here, and our captured and our solution has uh, there is a silver chloride precipitation. And maybe there's a 
small amount of water remain in our beaker. Okay, continue working here. Let's add another dosage of nitric acid here to continue dissolving silver. apply heating to react faster now I add our my three pieces uh, silver plated copper here to our solution to extract silver plated and I had and dissolve material here some uh, part here is undissolved I don't know what is this but maybe this is copper I suspected that this part here are this is gold and also our contacts here and maybe this is completely extract the silver here while the silver plated has ex extracted from silver plated copper and the copper has exposed then the silver has precipitated out as you can see here Lots of silver cemented in the copper. Okay, that's enough my silver plated extraction. So let's allow it to cool down and filter the solution. Our solution is cooled down now and let's filter to our filter paper. That is our copper silver plated lock legs after silver extraction here and this one there are some part of this isn't dissolved to our nitric acid here you see this part here and this one here I don't know maybe gold and here is uh, the brown here is copper Filtration is almost done here, and that is our uh, silver contact uh, contact from circuit breaker, and dissolved. That is exactly tungsten. That okay. I'm done filtering, and let's remove this one. That is our solution. What I have prepared here is a copper bar for silver precipitation. And we, you can use also salt or hydrochloric acid, but my prepare here is silver as a precipitation, as precipitant. Because silver precipitation is less effort for cleaning. No need to convert to silver oxide from silver chloride. Okay, go ahead and we will, let's add our silver nitrate solution here. And let's see what we got. The reaction has started. The silver has started cementing to our copper bar. And we are allowing maybe five hours or overnight to completely precipitate the silver here. So see you tomorrow. Early in the morning, checking our job here, I got precipitation, silver precipitation here. But our copper has eaten our 
solution. Let's check it out. Yeah, that is our copper has eaten by the acid. And let's lower this one. Our solution has still blue and uh, our precipitation here gray silver okay continue working here i decant this excess solution copper nitrate to our next bucket then i set up filter paper here to capture our silver to filter our remaining solution with uh, silver add more hot water here after multiple ranges of hot water then it's time to melt our silver Okay, let's fire to our map gas. It took a long time to melt. Maybe the PCB underneath turned into a head sink. So I replaced it with a can with charcoal underneath. Okay, that is our melted sour. Yeah, really nice man. Silver. <laughs> Very shiny. Okay, this is our silver. Very nice. Okay, so let's take on our skill. That's 13.4 grams.